Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. More than a month after the death of a 10-year-old girl in Chippewa Falls, the community is continuing to find ways to remember her. As WEAU's Leanne Stapleton shares, one artist is using her talents and the symbol of a flower to honor Lily Peters. In addition to the free drawings, Ashwell sold Lily stickers she designed. She says the money from those stickers will be donated to the Royal Credit Union Community Memorial Fund for Lily's family. If you'd like to purchase a sticker, you can find out how on our website. Community members held a candlelight vigil to remember a former Juneau County judge who was killed in his own home earlier this month. 68-year-old Judge John Romer was shot during a targeted attack. As gun violence continues to impact communities across the nation, today Senate negotiators are announcing they've reached a tentative agreement on new gun safety laws. Cole Higgins has the latest. Today's announcement comes as the nation remembers the victims of the deadliest attack on the LGBTQ community in American history. Today marks six years since a gunman killed 49 people at Pulse nightclub in Orlando. First baby formula, now tampons are in short supply across the U.S. After taking it two years off due to the pandemic, the Wisconsin American Legion is hosting its Badger Boys State program at UW-Eau Claire. The week-long youth citizenship program kicked off today and goes through Saturday. Its goal is to teach high school junior and senior boys leadership. As part of the program, they will learn how the government works by creating their own and electing officials. Thomas Screenus with Badger Boys State says he hopes the teens gain a better understanding of why democracy matters. It, it's important because it develops within our young people a sense of democracy and of the rule of law and liberty and, the, and the, the Bill of Rights, all of those and very important things to develop young people so that we can grow together as a nation and a, and a state and a community. This is the first year UW-Eau Claire is hosting Badger Boys State. Screena says the program will return to the campus for at least the next few years. As the American Legion Post 358 and Unity celebrates its 100th anniversary, it's also taking time to honor its longest serving member. Otis Kath is a World War II veteran. He's helped the Post for more than 70 years. The nonprofit organization supports veterans and members in all branches of service. To recognize his work, they had a personalized quilt made for Kath. The 97-year-old says the quilt and his celebration ceremony came as a surprise. I really enjoyed the visiting with the people I haven't seen for a while. A lot, a lot of faces I saw that I didn't see for a while, just visiting with them. Kath is the oldest living member of the Unity American Legion Post. That post was founded on May 25th, 1922. Coming up in Sports Scene 13, after falling to them yesterday, the Eau Claire Express looked to come back and beat the Moon Dogs in Carson Park. First, how one event at a Milwaukee gas station brought a little joy to drivers at the pump. Pain at the pump continues across the nation as summer travel ramps up. Right now, gas is about as good as gold. Instead of $5 per gallon, one Milwaukee gas station had it for free. Madeline O'Neill tells us why it happened and how something like this might pop up again. At this weekend's event, they couldn't help everyone, but Life Changers Christian Church is planning to do this again in the future. The official start of summer is just over a week away, but we will be getting a preview this week as temperatures heat up. Chief Meteorologist Darren Meyer has the details in your Skywarn 13 forecast next. Maria, we may actually be talking about more heat coming into play by next weekend. So all of these comfortable days in the 70s and low humidity, I think uh, that might be done for now. <laughs> it's finally starting to feel like summer with one week to the official start of summer. I think the pools uh, will be uh, really getting to be a hot spot this week. I think you're right. Thanks, Darren. Mm -hmm. Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, now at seven games without a win, the Brewers look to change their fortunes in the nation's capital. 
Plus, the Express look to heat up the bats in a rebound attempt hosting Mankato. I know I've been looking forward to summer weather, but I don't think I'm quite ready for this week. Well, it's definitely going to feel a lot more like summer, and we are going to be adding to the number of 80 degree days that we've seen so far this month. We're definitely hoping not to be record setters on Hope Tuesday. Not, but we're close. Thanks, Darren. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.